he started to hurt Lola at midnight, and he carried on until she was unconscious at 6.30 a.m. He did not stop when Sinead James nearly caught him in the act when she heard Lola scream at midnight. This was a sustained, deliberate, and very violent attack. For some of the injuries, Kyle Bevan used weapons. The attack would have caused both mental and physical pain and suffering before the onset of coma. It was the culmination of several months of physical child abuse. He has no remorse at all, even now. At the time, he did not even simulate sadness about Lola's injuries and critical condition when everyone around him was distraught. At the hospital, he threatened and insulted the staff. He hurled abuse at the victim's natural father and challenged him to a fight for no reason at all as Lola lay dying in critical care. For the murder of Lola James, I sentence you to imprisonment for life with a minimum term of 28 years, less 368 days already spent in custody on remand. You may go down. <laughs>